Brad Lindenberry, Central Confinement Service. Um, we're here today with uh, Rachel and Jason Eichmann uh, doing a feature on their cow-calf facility, Aki Steel Building, that's 240 feet long, 50 feet wide, housing 100 to 120 cow-calf pair. Jason, would you give us just a brief summary of your facility and your overall farming operation? We're running a cow-calf and a row crop operation. Um, after college, when I came back, we were looking to expand our cow herd. We wanted to put up a building because it was a lot cheaper than buying grass for this many cows. So with putting this building up, we were able to expand our cow herd. Now we're running 100 head of fall cows too. So we're calving in it twice a year. I think our conception rates are better. I think mainly because the bulls aren't running around on pasture. I mean, they're in a small pen. And so what led you to the AccuSteel building in comparison to other styles of buildings? I really like the the Keter track system where you don't have, you know, one or two big tarps. You got each individual one, so if something does happen, it's yeah, you're just replacing a little section instead of a whole tarp. We've had some pretty strong wind storms here in the last year and it's held up pretty good. If there's somebody looking at doing this now, what advice would you give them doing a project like this? Uh, probably two of the most important things if you're going to build one. Have a good nutritionist, someone that kind of knows about cows in a barn or anything in confinement. The second would be have a good vet. I would say tour. Go out and look at buildings yeah. and look at different buildings. See how different people make different barns, you know, a back alley, a drover's alley in the front. I mean, there's lots of different options that you can learn a lot from looking at different barns. Mm -hmm.